The Mac has had three major transitions in its history. The Mac in its history has had two major transitions so far. The move to PowerPC. 68K to PowerPC. The transition to Mac OS X. From OS 9 to OS 10. And the move to Intel. From the PowerPC to Intel processors. When we make bold changes, it's for one simple yet powerful reason. So we can make much better products. Because we want to be making the best computers for our customer looking forward. When we look ahead. That as we look ahead. We envision some amazing new products. We can envision some amazing products we want to build for you. You want to deliver the highest performance at the lowest power consumption. What we see is the power PC gives us sort of 15 units of performance per watt. But the Intel roadmap in the future gives us 70. So how did we do this? We're using Xcode, just like all our developers will. So Xcode is the key. And to deliver these apps, we've created Universal 2. And you're going to build what's called a universal binary. It's a new type of universal binary that works on both Intel-based Macs and Macs built on Apple Silicon. One binary works on both PowerPC and Intel architectures. Some of the biggest Mac developers have already gotten started. Microsoft is hard at work on Office for the Mac. And uh, I'd like to invite another one up on stage that we've uh, briefed on this. And of course, that's Microsoft, because Microsoft Office is very important to us all. And we've been working with Adobe. One of our other partners, as you know, is Adobe. And I'm just going to open up about this Mac. And what you see here is that we are running on our Apple development platform. Let's go have a look here. In fact, this is the same Mac that Beth and I used to demo all the new Big Sur features earlier. As a matter of fact, the system I've been using here... <laughs> it runs great. Scrolling is super smooth. So I'm just going to open a Word document. Next, let's check out Excel. Let me open uh, an Excel spreadsheet. Next, let me show you the app I know many of you want to see, Photoshop. Boom. Uh, you know, let me open uh, Photoshop. The shared architecture across our products means that their code will absolutely sing on our new Macs. Mac OS X is singing on Intel processors. We want to make sure that users can run all of their apps on day one. Not every application is going to be universal on day one. Rosetta 2 automatically translates your existing Mac apps so they work on new Macs with Apple Silicon. And Rosetta allows us to translate PowerPC to Intel. The vast majority of Mac apps can be recompiled as universal in a few days. Literally a few days and your Cocoa app's going to be running with an Intel version. This program also includes new developer transition kit hardware, so developers can get going even before we ship production systems. We have created a developer transition kit for you. We will be shipping units out starting this week so you can get to work. We'll be shipping them within two weeks. And we expect the transition to take about two years. So this is a two-year transition. We plan to continue to support and release new versions of macOS for Intel-based Macs for years to come. We're going to be supporting both these processors for a long time. In fact, we have some new Intel-based Macs in the pipeline that we're really excited about. And we've got some great PowerPC products in the pipeline yet to, to be introduced.